Hi Taurus, so I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We'll see the big ideas or awareness for the week. We'll get some guidance, look at possible outcomes, and we'll get additional information from the Oracle cards. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, the first two cards, we have the awareness for the week. The awareness for the week, we're starting with the two of wands. In the two of wands, we see this nicely dressed merchant or this man holding the world in his hands. His, he's resting on a wand. He's looking out across the water and the mountains in the distance. And it's really the idea of seeing things in the future of what you're hoping to accomplish what you're hoping to do. You hold the world in your hands and uh, you really set the course. And so when we're in this initial stage of creation or manifesting, we have to make decisions. We have to think about how we're going to do something. How does it impact or affect the people within our family, the people within our business? The location, do we need to move a location? So. There's a lot to think about as you think about your future and future steps. And this is a card of this initial stage of thinking about the big picture and thinking about what may be and the decisions that are behind the scene for you in order to make things happen. So the awareness of future planning and then here's the awareness of family, of the legacy of family. We see a lot of generations within this illustration, the patriarch, the couple, the dogs and the kid, and the home in the background, and all of the pentacles. So this is a week for you to be aware of the resources of your family. You know, you work hard to provide for your family, to put food on the table, to put shoes on the children's feet, to send them to school with supplies, and to take care of elderly parents. And this. This again, it's about generations. It's about the legacy of family, watching over investments, making sure that a, that in a, a medical power of attorney is created or a will, that the home is taken care of, that the family is taken care of. So this might be a week for you to reach out to an investment broker, the lawyer, to review your finances, to review your plan, and you know perhaps your vision here is going to affect the family and the family finances. So it's some decisions to be made, uh, analysis perhaps to be made with respect to the resources of the family. Okay, so in terms of guidance, we have the Chariot Major Arcana. The Chariot is a card of driving forward, momentum, motion, things perhaps becoming more hectic, uh, moving along. You know, this charioteer holds the reins to this chariot. He's able to masterfully control this chariot and the movement of these two sphinxes, the black and white sphinxes, they may have opposing ideas and is trying to find the middle ground to keep moving forward. The chariot, again, life isn't perfect. And so there's going to be times when you get, you get off track or something happens. And uh, through your confidence, through your control, you're going to be able to take care of that. It's not going to derail you. The chariot's about success. And um, again, building your confidence, reaching your goals, whether they're small or they're big. We see again the tower in the background. He's standing upright, vision, looking forward, moving forward. So what's interesting with this idea of success here we also have this guidance of, of perhaps regret or disappointment. 
this cloaked figure is staring down at the cups that have spilled, not really taking in the cups that are behind, and is really just taking this moment maybe to grieve, to be upset, to think about what might have been, to feel sadness, and you know, that's okay. It's okay to feel sad. It's okay to have moments where we uh, feel at a loss of something. But the problem is when you get stuck living in the past or, or obsessing about what didn't quite work out. So there's something that we'll see with the rest of the cards here, but hurtling to your success, maybe it's not all that it's cracked up to be. And maybe there's something that Behind the scenes of the success, it just quite doesn't feel right. This could also, for those where you feel your big thing of the week is love, this could be a disappointment in love, a, a, a regret of a love that didn't work out. And again, I would say don't get stuck there. Acknowledge it, process it, and move on. And focus on what you do have. Focus on the blessings that you do have. So I'm really curious. Let's see what we have for possible outcomes. So possible outcomes. We're really looking at, it's another two card. It's an, an idea of balance, of trying to, all the activity within your life, the obligations, the responsibilities, the bills, the commitments, the family commitments, you name it. People are really busy these days. They have a lot going on. And trying not to drop one of these coins takes artful and skillful dancing uh, or juggling. And we have to do these things. We have to prioritize and think of the decisions that we make and how it impacts our life. On good days and bad days, on all days, you know, it never ends that we're faced with making decisions. And the decisions that impact the balance and how we live our life. And so, you know, often when we see this two of pentacles, we're maybe talking about resources. We may be talking about our jobs, trying to earn some extra income and maybe trying to earn some extra income for the, for the family, the benefit of the family. Maybe you're saving up for your dreams and your hopes. You're building a war chest in order for you to have a little more power. And with this Two of Pentacles, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. Again, a sense right below the chariot. It's a sense of movement. The wheel is always spinning. And within this wheel, if life throws us all kind of curveballs and you know, fastballs and such, it's a matter of how we respond. The cycles of life fall, summer, spring, for those that have four seasons. And we have to deal with them. The universe has a divine plan and we play a part. We do have willpower, but sometimes things just happen and they change quickly. Fortunes can change quickly. This could be a great thing happening in your favor. How will you respond to it? It could also be a whoops or feeling like the, the wheel is going this way, going backwards. How do you respond to it? That's the key piece about the Wheel of Fortune, is that life's circumstances can change in a moment's time and can affect you positively or negatively. How will you react? What will you do? Again, part of a greater divine plan, the universe, but the, we also have some sense of control over what we do, and that comes in the reaction part. So you may have a decision to make this week. You may be sorting through decisions. You may be having a hard time going through, but you know you may have to make a decision this week that impacts the movement of, of moving forward with maybe manifesting, with creating creating a new path for yourself. So very interesting uh, with the pentacle cards and the chariot and the wheel of fortune. Let's see what we have in terms of messages and 
This I like to call an affirmation for the week, an idea or a statement that can help focus us for the week. Embracing enthusiasm. Shout to the heavens with happiness. So embracing enthusiasm, finding your passions, allowing yourself and putting yourself in a position to be able to act on your passions can help you feel more enthusiastic and to embrace, embrace the goodness. So find what brings enthusiasm and excitement to your life. So now I'd like to choose an oracle card, and I'm going to, I think of this card as a card for healing for the week. Beloved one, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So for those that are in a relationship, soulmate relationship, there is support for you in helping to navigate all of the richness and the intricacies and the complexity of really being involved. And then for those that are seeking the soulmate, having faith, having faith that the universe is going to put you in the right place and the right time to meet the right person. So on that note, let's choose a card for love. Be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. So it's a wonderful card to express how you feel, to not play games, to be direct. If you care for someone, tell them how you feel. And don't be afraid of what may come back to you. You just have to say it and put it out there and then, you know, uh, true love will come back and then you'll find you will find out sometimes what people are truly like uh, when you are honest with them emotionally and uh, it's a really nice it's it is a thermometer as to how a relationship is going so my I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading today if you did please subscribe if you haven't already like share this video and comment below and I hope that you have a great week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.